Hello, YouTube. Um, excuse my looks. I'm getting ready for work. I make butter. You're jealous. Don't lie. You wish you had my job. Making butter is awesome. I mean, it's okay. <laughs> it's butter. <laughs> um, anyways, so before I go to work, I wanted to talk about road buddies. Um, road buddies are my favorite. They're just wonderful. Um, so I wanted to talk about a couple of stories that I had about having a road buddy. First of all, when you go on long trips and you have that car that's following you and following you and following you, that's a road buddy. They're going to stick with you. They're going to have your back if they're a good road buddy. So, anyways, um, I was driving and there was this car. And it was behind me and it kept coming up close and then back off. And then it would come up close and then it would back off. And I was like, I keep moving over to the slow lane. So if you're going to pass me, just pass me. I gave you the opportunity. Here it is. Go for it. Do it. Go on. Go on your merry day. No, um, first of all, don't do that because that's freaking out at your road buddy. And you don't want to freak out at your road buddy. Your road buddy is your friend. Um, what they're trying to do is gauge your speed. They want to follow you. But they can't figure out how fast you're going, so they can't set their cruise control. So they gotta get close, and they bet. Then they set it, and it's too it's too slow. So they gotta speed back up and catch up to you. Yep, there's Coda, right on cue. What are you doing? I'm gonna need you to um get out of this video. I'm trying to walk talk about road buddies. Go see who's here or something. <laughs> I almost just jumped over me. That was gonna be really bad. Um, <laughs> So anyways, they catch up to you, and then they set their cruise control, and but it's too slow, so then they drift off, and then, you know, they, they catch up, and they, they set their cruise control, but then it's too fast, so they're creeping up on you. They're just, give them a break, they're just trying to figure it out. If you're the front road buddy, be careful, because um, they're following you, be, you got a duck, um, because you're gonna, you're gonna catch the cop. You're gonna be the one who bumps into the cop before them, and they don't want to get busted. Um... Anyways, so I have to keep her entertained so she doesn't keep coming back over here. Um, road buddies, yes. So anyways, if you're the front car, you are the um, cop watcher. So you better be good at your job. You better know where those cops are and you better protect your road buddy from getting a speeding ticket because they will not be happy with you. Um, if you are the following road buddy, first of all, you're kind of a pansy. Yeah, you're the one who's like, you know, sitting in back like, I'm not going to skip the cop. Cop's going to bust you, <laughs> but I'm just going to go just as fast. You suck. But you know what? Everybody has a role to play. And um, that's kind of nice to have a road buddy. I'm not going to lie, especially for a long period of time because, you know, you're constantly checking your rear mirror, check your rear mirror, check the side rear mirror. Yep, road buddy's still there. He's still with me. Okay. You know, it, it keeps you checking your mirrors, keeps you alert on what's going on. Oh, did my road buddy get over it? Yep, okay. You know, like... It keeps you paying attention, especially for long, long drives. So I had a road buddy um, for over 400 miles. Um, it was a cute little red Ford car. Um, and my road buddy, you know, made me mad, catching up, falling back, catching up, falling back. And I was like, come on. So anyways, um, once, he <laughs> once he figured out my speed, we were, we were pretty good. We were a great team. Um, so... We got, we went over into the left lane and we were trying to pass the semi and so were all these other cars because there was a semi trying to pass another semi, which is the biggest pet peeve that I have in the world. Like, move over, okay? You don't need to pass someone going one over. If you're going to pass, you can kind of go a little bit faster, especially when the speed limit is 70 and your truck friend is going 65 and you're going 66 to pass him. Like, hello, people are probably going 70. If not, you know, they're, if they're in the fast lane, they're probably going 75. Like, get with the program here. Anyways, so every car is like getting backed up and this line is getting longer and longer and longer and there were a couple cars that like made it around the semi because he was actually falling behind because of this hill that we went up. So they're like, you know, they're driving like this and then they went up the hill and it went like this and so cars were getting in so I was like, oh, maybe me and my road buddy should try that. So I checked, yep, my road buddy's behind me. I got over my road buddy. I wasn't so sure he was going to see how far I was going to make it. So, you know, I get going and there's more people coming in behind my road buddy and of course, you know, they're not going to let me in once I've, I've abandoned them all and gone into the right lane. Well, I didn't quite make it. Um, the semi caught up too quick and I was like, well, there's three cars. And um, so my road buddy basically like slowed down from 66 to like 
60 and pushed all the cars back and gave me enough room to get back in because my road buddy is my buddy. They're my friend. And she, he, she wanted me to catch that cop before them, and they were going to stick with me. So <laughs> that was pretty great. Um, so we kept on, you know, I move over, my road buddy moves over, et cetera, et cetera. And I offered them, I was like, hey, you know, I'll slow down a little bit so you can be the lead road buddy. Nope, didn't want to be the lead road buddy. So I was the lead road buddy the whole time. Um, so then we, we bump into this stupid truck, and it was a stupid green truck. It was Christmas colors. Um, anyways, the stupid green truck, you know, he like flies forward and goes back and forward. Like, he didn't know what end was up. He definitely was not on his cruise control, and he was just mad at the world because he was zigzagging through traffic trying to cause 10 million accidents on his way. I swear. So anyways, um, he decides that, you know, he's gonna, he's gonna cut between me and my road buddy. And I said, nope. Um, my road buddy was, we were going up another hill, and my road buddy was having a hard time keeping up with me with the, his, his or her poor little car. So, I turned off the cruise control, and I slid back, and there wasn't enough room for the truck to go in front of me, and I wasn't going to let him in between me and my road buddy, so he had to go behind my road buddy. He was not happy because he flew past us later. But then he got caught up in traffic, and I saw on an entrance ramp this cop coming. Um, so the cop's coming, and it gets in, and here comes the truck who got stuck and pff, there he goes. And I was like, oh boy, this guy's going to get in trouble. So I, f I went over into the left lane. I, I sped up, um, got in front of him, and I made him slow down. And I could see him in the rear view mirror. He was flicking me off. He was, there she goes. Whoa. Um, <laughs> he was flicking me off. He was throwing a tantrum. He's like, rah, 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 let's do a car rah, rah. And I'm all like, you just wait. So I slowed down. My road buddy came back up on the right-hand side, and I got in front of my road buddy. He, she let me, and the truck saw, um, he started to speed up, saw the cop, and uh, went the brakes. And after that, that silly little green truck got behind my little red car road buddy, and then it was the three of us, and we were a team of three. And then he understood we were road buddies, and we needed to stick together, and we were going to go fast, but we weren't going to go too fast. And we just, we just needed to be the three musketeers, my little Christmas-colored road buddies. So, for the next couple hundred miles, we're driving along, you know, um, the truck isn't going to let anybody pass um, and get in between him and the red car, and I'm not going to let anybody come in between us, and we're doing a good speed, like we're passing a lot of people, um, it was the middle of the day, so none of the speeding people are out yet because they're not angered by their day of work, they didn't probably go to work that day. Anyways, so we made a really great team, there were no cars that came in between us, and I mean, they tried. But nope, we were going to stick together, and when, you know, semis were trying to pass each other again, uh, we made sure that all of us could get over, and, you know, it was a great dream. And then I was really, really sad because my little red road buddy had to stop off, probably had to get some gas, and then it was just me and the truck for a little bit. And then the truck turned off, and I was like, well, I'm all alone again. I am the one-man wolf pack. And then I found some more road buddies, but they didn't last as long as the other two had. And they weren't as good of road buddies. You know, they didn't really have my back. They just wanted to follow me and, you know, let me take all the risks. But they didn't want to help me out. You know, you got to scratch my back. I'll scratch your back. You know, you got to have that mentality. Anyways, the next trip I took that I had a road buddy, there was a, it was a white Chevy um, Escape. It was an SUV. I don't know. Anyways. This guy, <laughs> he did the back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth a bunch of times. And I'm like, I know you have a new enough car that you can put on the cruise control. Just figure it out. But he didn't. He never <laughs> figured it out <laughs> the entire way. He was just up right on my bumper and then woo, way back here and then up and then back. And eventually, you know, I was like, you know, whatever. I'll follow. I'll, I'll let him be the lead road buddy. So he went over and he was the lead road buddy until we started going eight under the speed limit. And then I was like, oh, no, 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 no. So then I was the lead road buddy. And then he seemed like he wanted to be the lead road buddy again, so I let him. But then he kept going his blah, blah, blah speeds. And I couldn't figure out what he was doing. And he wasn't, like, he didn't have all the cruise control. How was I supposed to figure anything out? He was a really, really bad road buddy. But, I mean, we stuck together for a long time. And, you know, like, when he moved over, I moved over. And then he got too far ahead, and I couldn't see him. And then all of a sudden, here he is, like... I'm coming up on him, I'm like, what is this guy's deal? It turned out it was a really old guy, and I was like, hey, Grandpa, you have cruise control. It's this magic little thing. It's kind of like a blinker. <gasps> we won't get into the blinker again. But this concept, you don't flick it up or down, you push in a button. 
on the side. Sometimes it's even on the steering wheel, like right by where you control the music. Awesome. And it lets you take your foot off the gas pedal and off the brake pedal, and it keeps you going the speed that you want to go. Whoa. Somebody needs to take him back to driving school so that he can figure out what cruise control is. He was the worst road buddy I ever had. He was always leaving me behind and stuff, and then he was always behind me, and then he wanted to be in front of me, but then he wanted to slow down, and he just couldn't make up his mind. He was a terrible, terrible, terrible road buddy. And he left me hanging. He got me stuck behind some stupid slow cars at the end of the line, so he was like four cars ahead of me. He didn't wait. He didn't make the other cars wait because, you know, they cut in between us, and that was just rude. <sighs> I am a very good road buddy. And my little red car and the little green truck, well, actually, it was a big green truck. My little Christmas colored friends, they were the best road buddies ever. I'm sure we made a lot of people mad. And we even passed a couple cops that I had missed, and they didn't pull us over. I mean, who are you going to pull over? This blue SUV that's leading? This funny green truck that's following this little red car? Or, like, you know, do you follow the front guy because he's setting the speed? Do you follow the last guy because he's probably paying catch-up? Like, he's he's the tail end. He thinks he's got two people in front of him and he's not going to get busted. Or do you follow the middle guy because well, he's the middle guy? You know, like, who do you pull over? Nobody. You let all three of them go. That's why you should have a road buddy. Anyways, I have to get to work, but if you like and subscribe to my page, I'll put out more stories, more fun, interesting things that happen to me, and more um, informative stuff. Like how to use a blinker. <laughs> See ya!